Hey, Isa. Hey, what are you doing? I'm supposed to feed the fish. I didn't think you were coming. You're late. I'm not late. Good morning. I didn't think you were coming. You're late. Good morning, doctor. Morning, Paula. How's your husband? He's good. Still working on his sports cars? As usual. Yeah, my dad is working on the car. Yeah, your daddy likes sports cars. So are these fish are getting pretty fat? Yeah, since you're feeding the fish, they're getting pretty fat. Come on, honey, we have to go. Okay. Bye, doctor. Thank you, Dr. Bijan. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye, Dr. Bijan. One might ask, why, with one small portion of our body, must we apply so many names? The truth is, we humans are afraid of getting lost. So we must name everything surrounding us, every physical aspect, emotion, concept, we give a name. Why so? To overcome our fears, which makes us feel like we are masters of the universe. All these concepts, good and evil, actually come from our master, the brain. Anybody is still awake? How about you, Jim? OK, that's enough for today. See you next week. Knock, knock. Anybody there? Are you looking for anybody in particular? Yes, I'm looking for a patient who desperately needs my help. Then you'd better go next door. No, I'm sure I have the right door. The problem is my patient is always in denial. Are you coming or not, Casanova? As you can see, I have more important things to do than chasing pretty girls like you. <laughs> you charming old fool. Let's go. The thesis jury is waiting. OK, let's go. responding well to medication, and he looks much better today, doctor. Uh, how are you doing? I'm OK. My mother called. She's doing much better. That's great. Has Philip proposed yet? <sighs> no. He likes things just the way they are, just living together. Those French guys. Hey, cowboy. What's up today? Howdy, Dr. Prick. I miss you. Where were you last week? Feeding the cows? Well, at least I was doing something productive. By the way, how many patients you killed last week? <laughs> Not enough. You didn't come by. Over my dead body? Hey, you gonna take that puny little thing up in the air today? <laughs> I see can't get a big cow off the ground. Seems like she needs milking. Hey, maybe you need to push. You want me to push it for you? Just try to catch me, cowboy. When you go into a nose dive, just holler for help. I'll be here with a safety net for you.
You cannot be different than other men, having wishful thoughts of living each moment only in the present. No man has ever escaped his past. There's nothing to lie about, Angel. You're wasting your time. Let's go out and have a cup of coffee. I heard what you said. Either you're lying, or everything I have learned is wrong. I know deep inside, something is bothering you. What I don't know is why you're hiding it from me, Bejan. Knock, knock. Come on, say it. What do you want me to say? Does it really bother you that much? No, I'm just trying to find the best way to say what I have to say. Okay. I'm not gonna twist your arm, so take your time. Do you really want to know the truth? Yeah, at least your version of it. All right. I erase my memory box. I am what I am, here and now. So can we go get some coffee now? Big wishful lies, Bejan. It's not gonna work. Believe me, I'm an expert. You know, like it or not, we are all machines of the same factory, but with different brands and different sizes and different colors. But more or less, we all have the same memory boxes. I'm sorry if I have upset you, but I don't like to dig up the old graveyard of my past. I don't keep anything that binds me to yesterday. I prefer to live here and now. Is that clear? Jean, you can't erase your past. It does not come with a key. You can try and bundle your memories and push them in the dark corners of your subconscious mind. But every now and then, there's going to be some familiar sound or smell or object that's going to open that box. And there you are, haunted by your memories again. No, not me. You can test your theory on your other clients. I'm not your client now. I just wanted to invite you for a cup of coffee. Yes, but I want to know more about you, Bejan. Knowing me for five years is not enough? You know, sometimes you can know another person after just a few days or or even a few hours, if they're willing to talk. I'm talking. I'm expressing myself. So for God's sake, let's go have some coffee. I'd like to believe you, Bejan. So? I wish that I had no interest in you. I lost my faith in men a long time ago. And I'm frightened right now. Sometimes I lie awake at night, scared to close my eyes because I know that the moment I do, I'm gonna hear the voices of my best friend and my ex-husband creep up from my memory boxes and hunt me down. I see myself a young newlywed, standing in the doorway of my bedroom, like a rabbit petrified with fear, shaking as I stared into a snake's eyes. As I watched the two people I loved the most in my life cheating on me in my own bed. Like it or not, Bejan, there is an invisible string that binds all human beings to their native culture.
this is it. Everything we know, everything we see. Our dreams, whims, and fantasies. Every aspect of life. Love, hatred, happiness, grief, fear, depression, or any other feelings or expressions we invent to overcome our fear or advance our knowledge or make new tools. Even though it seems this is made of two different sides, each functions independently and controls its opposite side of the body, yet they are one single entity, one and the same. These two sides do not represent two absolutes, but two major aspects of a dynamic unity. These fractions are a non-stop factory which produce words. The most precious gift which distinguishes humans from other animals. This part has taken millions of years of an evolutionary process. Insight, cognition, affection, and this part perhaps is the most important and complex of all. The slightest shake of a surgeon's hand can change the person forever. This is, as I call it, the human memory box, which binds him to his past. Without it, there would be no history, culture, science, or arts. There would be no meaning of life as we experience today. Thus, humans would have been one of the animals living happily ever after. How many of you have watched Bergman's Wild Strawberries? Just one? Does anyone want to see it? No. no. OK, then let's all watch it. for the most intelligent and sensitive psychiatrist in town. Is that supposed to be a compliment? You can call it that. OK. I accept your compliments. What's new? Hmm. Well, it seems like you're really not interested in what's new. <laughs> Does it bother you that much? What? I'm talking about what you've turned your back on. Wherever I would sit, there would be something behind me. And I know you would make something out of it. <laughs> that is real funny. You know, they say when you turn your back on something... Can you stop making something out of everything? Can you just try to forget about it and have fun for a while? Forget about what? The news. <laughs> So you were aware of what was going on behind your back. Admit it, I guessed right. Guess what? Admit it. You're concerned over the news from Iran. So, when are you going back? I chose my homeland 30 years ago. I don't want to hear anything about it. Oh boy, you sound like that crazy old man. Were you watching Wild Strawberries too? Wild Strawberries? Bergman's film, Swedish director. No, I don't like those subtitled foreign films. I meant Mr. Tabib. Where the hell is he anyways? I haven't seen him much lately. You're talking about another crazy old man. We went back to Iran. Last week. Is he old fool? So, that's the point I'm making. What point? The fact that you don't want, or so you say you don't want, to have anything to do with your country. But well, what you mean to say is that you're moved, and you're scared, and you're losing your peace, just like Mr. Tabib. No wonder you guys are called Tranks. <laughs> yeah. Laugh. You know what bothers me about that? Not unless you tell me. Believe me, I have enough experience. 
a bunch of innocent people with flags and stand in front of bullets. And you know why? Because they're filled with superficial hopes. Revolution is a big word, but I tell you, it's meaningless in that country. You do want to know what happens next. Deals are made. Deals. US, UK, USSR makes no difference. They sit behind closed doors and make decisions for them. If they accept the deal, fine. If they don't, there would either be a war or a coup. They are asleep in the middle of the night, bang, bang. They are attacked again and again. A bunch of poor, innocent folks go up in smoke. And the rest will suck on their lollipops and dream about a better day until the day they die. Is it enough? Or you want to hear more? I can go for days and nights, on and on. Wow. Well, I knew the news had bothered you, but I had no idea. Your problem is so complex. You know, at least I can play golf with you and have a chance at winning. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Bejan, you know I'm going to win. Have a good day. That's a good shot. Nice one, Bijan. Let me show you how it's really done. <laughs> now that's a great shot. Did you learn your lesson? Excellent. For a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> For a beginner? I was excellent at that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you see that shot? You know I'm good. I'm going to teach you a few things this time. Yeah, you're not too bad. You're the best beginner I have ever seen. <laughs> oh, I really mean it. Credit card ready, Bejan. I'm gonna order some more caviar and bellini. Don't count on winning. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like that, as if you've never seen me before. Who, me? <laughs> You're cheating, Bejan. You're trying to distract me. <laughs> me? Do you see anybody else around here? I know I'm going to win. So there is no point to distract you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, then watch. <laughs> Would you marry me? Oh! <laughs> you bloody Casanova fool! That was so unfair! What did you just say? I mean... I mean... I really want to say... I think I'm in love with you. That is so unprofessionally stupid and outrageous and... and... And inconsiderate. Yes. Thank you for that word. Exactly. You're welcome. You don't actually mean that... Yeah, I'm really in love with you. That's what I was always frightened of. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Can you pretend I didn't say that? 
I shouldn't have admitted. Please don't get mad at me. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself, Bejan. I've, um, I've been struggling with my feelings for you for so long. But... I can't possibly imagine what I have in me to make it worth your while. So, are you ready to lose the game? I suppose I'm definitely in love with you too, Bijan. I don't suppose I'm definitely sure. I love you. I've always loved you. That's all? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, what do you want to do now? Let's go do something fun. Let's go share your, your love and hobby. Let's go flying. I'm so excited. It's my first time on a plane. And I get to go with you. I know. Can't wait. This is wonderful. And there she is. So this is the girl you spend all your time with. Yeah, this is the one. Ma'am, if I was you, I wouldn't get in there. Oh my god, you're here again. Hey Doc, why don't you take her up in a real airplane? You want to borrow mine? She doesn't like the smell of cows. You gotta be kidding me. Ma'am. I'll see you in the wild view yonder, boy. for you. It's exhilarating. Yes, it is. It's absolutely marvelous. It's beautiful. How you doing? Fine. Is my brother home? Yeah, come in. What's going on? Well, same thing as always. He you know already. Uh, okay, be quiet. Be quiet. Ah, don't say nothing. 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 Don't say Okay. 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 Enough. Khayla khop. Kofre bis kena shod ala. Bedam amul am sajus. Chris knows our situation. So are you. I mean, it may be sick. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Qué pasó, señor? Perdón, señor. Mire, nomás yo esto más estaba limpiando las fotos. Eso es todo lo que estaba haciendo. Entonces la señora empezó a gritar y yo estaba llorando y yo no sabía ni qué hacer en ese momento. Entiendo. You may go. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Está bien. Emil, vas a ver cuando haces todo. 
کجا داری میری؟ من دقیقا برو فخر و سادا تو آروم کن ای بابا نقادر بلش کن بابا اون ساکت بشه نیستش که Mas dá para fazer nada com as coisas. Não, não se preocupe. De verdade, não estamos personal. Ele sempre é assim. Graças. Tranquila. Quando há uma coisa dessa aqui, vou colocar o axial de vocês. Vou colocar o axial de vocês. Maria, what's wrong with you? I told you, I'm leaving. Do you have the heart to leave me alone? I need the money. My father is sick. Okay, honey. Smile. You're gonna get it. Today? Yeah, today. Thank you so much. I knew you have a big sweetheart. <laughs> That's super. Thank you. I knew you have a big sweetheart now. Thank you so much. Fakhrus Sadat. گنده تو چرا انقدر دیر به دیر سر میزنی به خانده هاشه راستی چی میخوای بگم دروغش به چه در علم میخوره صاف بزن وسط خواه هر وقت فخر و ساده تو با این قاب اکساش میبینم همه خاطرات گذشتی رو سرم خراب میشه چرت و پت نگو بیجن ما که بالاخره نفهمیدیم شما تو این خنزر پنزری های گذشته دنبال چی میگرد حالا ما دنبال چیز نمیگردیم اونا دنبال ما میان چی چی رو آبانبار بو گند لجن عوض چرک و چغلی تو دایسه تندیده Hmm, you got it. All the marches from all over Tehran came to this location. Maduna Azadi, Freedom Square, renamed now. It had once been called Shayad Tower. After the Shah of Iran. No, the most important thing is Iran. He should have been more important. Welcome, Pastor. You have to look at the image of the Prophet. The Prophet was better. Who? The Prophet was just a man. Ah. Just God will not let the image of the Prophet be taken away from him. One thing is that the image of the Prophet will be taken away from him. Taze, I am an Assad. Doctor, he says that his body is regressing. این اون خودت یه جایی تو گذشته مغزش ترمز کرده مونده خیلی ناخداغای مرحله از زندگیشون که دوست ندارم فراموش میکنه یه جور واکنش روانی برای اینکه بتونن طاقت بیارن حالا هرشی هست که فعلا ما شدیم اصد خدا بیامورس پریشا به اتفاقا خوابش رو دیدم نگاهشون کن یکی نیست بهشون بگه من شما نمیخواست این شاه بره خب رفت دیگه حالا دیگه چه تونه داده بیداره آن دخته This was a crowd even friendly to Americans. They helped our camera crew 
When I got knocked down, they brought a tape recorder and a bag. از فاطمه خبر نداری؟ نه. خیلی وقت ازش خبر نرم. تو چی؟ دو ماه پیش باش حرف زدم. می گفت مردم در زندونا رو واقع کردن دژگیرم اومده بیرون. <تصفح> بالاخره این آیزنه ما به آرزوش رسید. نونش رفت روغن. حرف زدی با خودش؟ آره بابا هیچ فرقی نکرده. هر چی میگی شعار انقلابی تحویلت میده. دیوونه. اینا کی میخوام بفهمن که خانواده ما دونگش رو داده؟ مگه توی فامیل چند نفر باید بمیرن که بفهمن فرمون دونه دستی کیه؟ دهش گیره دیگه دیگه از اون موقع تا حالا بهم زنگ نزدن البته فکر کنم خطا خراب بوده چون منم چند بار زنگ زدم نتونستم باشون حرف بزنم حالا خدا کنه بلایی سرشون نعمده باشه چه بلایی؟ اونا که خودشون صاحب انقلاب هست پسر تو کی میخوای یاد بگیری؟ وقتی عوضه قالاش میش میشه جای هیچ که هم نیست به دکتر طبیب گفتم یه سری بره بهشون بزنه اه دکتر طبیب رفی رو؟ آره کی؟ همین هفته پیش <تصفح> پیره مرد دیوونه حتما رفته قنیمت جمع کنه چرا؟ چون رفته ایران؟ شما خلو چلا همه تو نینه همینا میخوایش زن بزنم سفارشش بکنم با چند تا از این وزیر بزاره جدید رفیق اما تو واقعا تو این دولت انقلابی رفیق وزیر داری؟ آره بابا جون اتفاقا بعضشون بیزینسمن های خیلی خوبی هست خوب آره پس بهشون زنگ بزن یه بیزینس منه خوب میدونه کی طرف کیو بگیره حالا با طرف کیو بگیره <تصفيق> طرف برنده رو دیگه چشت به خانده ها شد باشه خط وزارت خونه همیشه کار میکنه هموشا کن گرفت الو <تصفيق> سلام و علیکم برادر Hi. You look happy today. It's my lucky day. Did you win the lottery? Or did Philip propose? <laughs> no, I'm not that lucky. My sister's coming to visit me from New York. Oh, great. I'm happy for you. Hey, Janet. Happy birthday. Thank you, doctor. Hey, doc. So that's why you're happy today. You didn't tell me it's your birthday. Friends usually remember friends' birthdays. I guess you're right. I owe you a gift. Dr. Lewis, to pediatrics. Dr. Lewis, to pediatrics. Are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry, he's going to make it. You may go. You're dismissed, Nurse Parkinson. It's your birthday. Your sister is waiting for you.
Why are we still here, birthday girl? Aren't you supposed to go see your sister? Are you upset with me? I was just trying to help. Knock, knock. Your sister is waiting. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Janet. Happy birthday to you. Janet. 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 Oh God, what's going on? Do something. Do something, doctor. Give us some air. Janet. Give us some air. Janet. Janet. Can you feel the pulse? Oh my God. No. She's gone, doctor. I'm gonna get more help. No. I'll get more help. Janet, please. Is there anything that we can do? She's gone. Oh no, Janet, no. No. Oh my god. Hey, Bijan. Hello. Where are you? You're so deep, you might drown. Me? Yeah, you're, you're not here today. I'm here. Well, your body's here, but your thoughts are somewhere else. Spill it, what's wrong? Nothing. No, it's, it's something. Janet Parkinson passed away yesterday, and I couldn't do anything about it. You're a nurse, but she was so young and healthy. I think that's how life is. It was her birthday. She was happy and joyful one minute, and was gone the next, just like that. In front of the best surgical crew in the state. We were all helpless, as simple as that. Hi, Isa. Hi, Dr. Biza. I was worried about you. You didn't show up yesterday. Oh, what beautiful flowers. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Well, when you didn't show up, it broke my heart. It wasn't my fault. My mommy took me to school yesterday. Is that so? You admit you still love me? Yeah, she's right. My fault. I took her to school yesterday. Okay. As you see, she's a big girl now. She has to go to school. But I don't like school. You have to. No. That's part of being grown up. I think your mother's right. You better go if you want to grow up fast. Only if you promise me to feed the fish every day. Come on, honey, let's go. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Hi, Ray. Hey, doctor. How are the fish doing today? Yeah, they're getting fat. You got a package. Package? Yeah, from overseas. I think it's from Iran. Really? I'll just sign right here. Yeah, doc, those fish are getting pretty fat. Yeah, thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.
Hello. Yeah, I'm okay. No, I'm not coming to work today. I'm tired. I said I'm okay. I just don't want to work today. Cancel all my appointments. Okay, bye. از ایستر از جانم میدونم باور نمی کنی که زنده باشم اما این منم لیلی لیلی تو که بیشتر به مجنون میموند شکسته خسته بیشتر از اون که تصور کنی اما با جوانیت آمدم عباس فرزندت پسرت اگر نوما به دستت رسید اگر دل در گروی کسی نداری بینویس تا در این صندوقچه غربت گرفته را بکشویم و رنج این همه سال دوری را در گوشت زمزمه کنم لیلی من تصور میکنم که شما دوستی زمان کودکی من هستید لیلی؟ مادرتان به من داد یادتان هست؟ همچه لحظه تو زندگی آدم زیاد نیست که آدم یادش بره I just told you I'm not coming to work today. چی میگی بابا؟ باز خودت انگلیسی تون تون بغل میکنی؟ فکر کردم منشیمه. اون گفت زنگ بزنی. یکم این که وقتی صدای خانداداش تو بشنوی زود باز سلام کنی. دویم این که پسر تو چرا اینقدر با این منشی بد حرف میزنی؟ چطور تو از این سر دنیا دلناگرون و آبجی فاتی و حسن و حسن و دشگیر بشی؟ ولی این بدبخت بیچاره تو یه قدمی نشه. آقا یه خود کتابیا. الان وقت شوخی نیست نادر اصلا حالم خوب نیست از تو معلوم از کجایی؟ حالت خوبه؟ خودم هم نمیدونم مثل اینکه اتفاقایی داره میفته چیه؟ قهوه جوشت قراب شده یا ساعت جاگه ندیخته به هم تو چرا خونه ای اصلا؟ من الان خودم قاطی کردم نادر تو دیگه بدترش نکن باشه به اینجا بشینیم و همین خود صحبت کنیم باشه بیا خیلی خوب الان نمیتونم حالا بعدم میام یه نامه اومده فکر میکنم یه کسی داره سر به سرم میذاره حالا تو پاشو بیا اگه جدی بود که راجبش صحبت میکنیم اگر هم شیخو بود که دوتایی میشینیم بهش گلی میخندیم پاشو بیا خیلی خوبه میام بعد خدا حافظ
Здравствуйте. Ты пришел увидеть Лили? Да. Что ж. Смотри. Спасибо. خیلی خوب بهش بگو هرچی دلش بخواد ورداره بگو پیش کشی برادر شوهرش پارو کشی بلدی برف پومه خونه خودتو پارو کن برو زن بگیر هرچی دوست داری براش بخر حالا میخواستی دو تا عروس و خونم بود شاید. اون از نادر که تازه پیر شده جیک جیک مزدونشه اینم از تو تو خودو بد میگم کپر خانم در بار بهت گفتم خب بلوب بلوب شد سرم چرا با نمی کنی علف زیر پام سبت شو؟ چطوری داداش؟ داداش نه خان داداش های بیتون های ماریا به 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 سلام علیکم آقا جون خیلی مخلصی دیشب داشتم روز دومه میخوندم ماریا نوشته بود جسد یه پیرمرد یه آلگوز و سه رو بعد مرگش تو خونش بده کردن تو هم فکر کردی شاید اون یارو من باشم اومدی سه هم ارس بگیری نه نمک دوم گفتم پاش بیا خونه خان داشت نه ایمدی قول برم داشت این آوردم گفتم وقتی داشتم سر میخوردم دستم میگیری نه خودم زبیر بازم من در مورد تو بد فکر <تصفيق> والا تنهایی دیگه اون از اون فخر و سادات و بچه ها اینم از تو که پاک خانده ها شد یاد دفته ببخشید نامه لیلی بد جوری به همم ریخته اه لیلی دیگه کیه این که اسمه چی چیز دیگه بود نمیده سو افته دیگه لیلی دیگه مگه چند تا لیلی میشنسی لیلی آقا ایسا اکی تالا از دنیای مرده هم نومه میرسه دست دادم نمیدونم یا زنده است یا یکی داره بد جوری سر به سرم میذاره بیجن دیگه وقتش یه سر به این دفیق مرس خود کنه بزنی خیلی عادت خرابه این نامشه این همون گل سینه ای که مادر بهش داده بود ماریا yes. give me a glass of water of course خب حالا که چی؟ میخواد چی کار کنی؟ باید برم ایران ببینم قضیه چیه؟ دک من از اول فکر میکردم تو یخت چلی ها ولی الان که دارم دقت میکنم میبینم چلی پنج هم رد کردی مرد حسابی همه مردا وقتی که از پنج ها رد میکنن دلشون میخواد یه کاری کنن زن جنازشون دور باشه تو میخوای خود بری دنبال زن مردت بگردی؟ دک حالا اگه خیلی هوایی سفر به سرت زده خب باشه برای آوایی ماوایی Here's your water, Nader Nader خان گرشه اگه توی که هوایی هم بخواه بری این دختره مقص خوش کنم بخواد میبری واقعا دیگه ولد کنن شروع شده در میری یا والا آقا آدم چوره که هوایی میخواد بره با خواهی ساندویج میبره <laughs> نه میبره <laughs> تو چرا میخندی؟ می؟ نه من شایی
پیدال کردم خوابی مرا می ترساند کی؟ جدایی تنهایی بد دردی من دیگر تنها نیستم جدایی از تو مرا می ترساند من شما را نقص میبینم نقص؟ م... یعنی که شما را م... این مدت من همشیشم به پنجره بود منم Bejan. What's wrong, Bejan? I'm sorry, Angel. I have to go. Okay, I'm ready. No, I don't think you want to go with me. What's wrong? What are you trying to say? I have to go to Iran. Iran? Why do you have to go there? I just found out my wife is not dead. Or at least someone wants me to believe so. So? You have told me over and over that everyone is bound to their past, and I didn't believe you. But now, I have to go and find something I've lost years ago. You sound certain. I've been blindly struggling with myself to be reasonable for so many years. But I've come around to the point that I started. <laughs> what is this? Are you, are you doing a scene from Waiting for Godot? Something like that. Okay. You don't need to be so dramatic. I can handle this. Just don't sugarcoat it. I just... I just want you to open your mouth and... move your lips and tell me exactly what you mean. You have been right all along. Let me make it easy on you, Bejan. My schedule is full right now, and I think
think you better find yourself a new psychiatrist. So? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Like always, you're not listening. Just please leave. Are you okay? Please just say goodbye and go. Go. بچه شدی لیلی؟ یه تیکه از روحم رو در بچه گی جا گذاشتم آلی که گلی بادام من دختره که دادام دادام شینه چای خورد من, من چای, چای ریزه که دادام تو شالیزار گرده مگر می شدت فراموش کرد شوفیری تیاره همیشه دیوونه بوده ای هنوز هم دیوونه
ya. Nade. Hi, Jan. You see? Fakhri's out of the room today. She's feeling better. Yeah. خدا رو شکر بده خیر از اتاق تو مادی بیرون. در آمین هم تیرون فقر رو صادق. خونه قدیمی مو. یادته؟ ایوون یادته تهران آره دارم اینم پیش فاطمه یادته همه با هم میرفتیم با حسن آقا و حسین قشنگی بازی میکردی من و تو و نادر و فاطمه منو که نمیبرن تهران منو میبرن قبرستو Let me just move on with it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Your mother is better than you. The air is more warm. The reaction is the right one. No, Baba, I'm not going to do that. Some times we're going to have a show. Hey, no, 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 خواهی ببرمش ایران؟ لازم نکرده همین که داری خودتو به خاطر یه نومه تو در سر میدازی کافیه اون بدبخت راحتش بذار پسر تو چرا نمیخوای بفهمی؟ یکی داره سر به سرت میذاره این حقه رو سوار کرده که بتونه بیاد امریکا شاید ولی به هر حال من باید برم تو توی قضیه در بیارم تو اصلا اون اولش هم تو هفرور چه میکردی بیجن برادر من لیلی مرده آدم مردم که نومه نمی که تازه اگر هم زنده بود یا زنگ میزد یا یه دونه نومه دیگه مینوشت آقا انقلاب شده شلوغ بلوغه مگه ندیدی چند بار به فاطمه زنگ زدم هر دفعه یکی برمی داشت اصلا به این راحتی نمیشه زنگ زد خیلی هم راحت میشه زنگ زد من همین دیشب داشتم دو ساعت با دکتر طبیب دیوانه حرف میزدم ببین این نامه من ریخته به هم باید بره آخه تو اگه خونواده میخواستی چرا این همه سال ازدواج نکردی منو نگاه کن اون از بچه‌هام که سال یه بار میبینمشون اینم از وضعیت زنم آخه کله کنده من آرزون بود که جای تو بودم بعد تو میخوای ول کنی بری زنه مردت رو زنده کنی برا حالا بچه ها چطوره؟ هیچ سالی یه مرتبه سر کریسمس میان ببینن اگه من مردم ارسو میناتا جمع کنم برن تازه وقتی هم میان تو اتاق مادرشون نبینن میگن دلمون میگیره ببین تو تو کنسولگری آشنا نداری این پاسپورت من درست کنه
کجا زندگی میکردی؟ من تهران ده تهرانی دریا از کجای تهران؟ تجریش کجای تجریش؟ آقا جون ما تو تهران کجا زندگی میکردی؟ من نزدیک سفارت آنی بود ممکنه دوباره چطور شده بعد از این همه سال حوث ایران رفتن کردین؟ یعنی برگشتن به کشور خودم باید دلیل خاصی داشته باشم؟ نه فقط عجیبه کجاش عجیبه؟ من هم از شما اونجا به دنیا آمده عجیبه بخوام برگردم ایران؟ غیر از این شناسنامه چیزی دیگه نداریم؟ نمیدونم چند بار باید بگم من زمان اشغال تبعید شدم به بسره از اونجا فرار کردم و اومدم آمریکا این تنها مدرکی که دارم شناسنامه عهد بوغ چی شده انقلاب شده شناسنامه آدم هم دیگه معتبر نیست شاید باشه ولی طول میکشه های صادق با این آقا چیکار کنیم آقای دکتر میگی حالا یه کاریش میکنیم دیگه شما بفهمین یه دو تا رونوشت فوتوکوپی از این شناسنامه بگیرید دو تا هم عکس تشریف بیارید ببینیم چیکار میشه کرد ممکنه آدرستون بفرمایید بله کاری کردی آره بالاخره پاسپورت گرفت فخر و صادق چطوره شیر شکسته همین حرفا رو زدی بدبختش کردی من دارم میرم تهرون فخر و صادق بلیط تمام خریدم تو کاری نداری فخر و صادق میری تهرون برای فاطمه نوشتم بگو دلم هواشو کرد بگو خستم خسته 